بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم مستر چیرمن سیکرتری جنرال مستر هولینجاو آنرابل مینسترز دیستینگویش دلیگیتس لیدیز اند جنتلمن The word today is a connected word, thanks to the pivotal role of the ITU. In this world, innovation, creativity, and the common will of different players and stakeholders, in spite of they, their differences, shine a glowing light for a better future. We have witnessed that whenever there was cooperation, among all players and stakeholders, better and more efficient results have been produced for the benefit of mankind. Rapid expansion of communications in terms of inventing advanced technologies and in terms of creating new services and applications has provided us with both opportunities and challenges. It is in this light that the ITU, as the special agency of the United Nations, can play a positive and important role in shaping the future of communications. It is the policy of the Islamic Republic of Iran to participate actively and constructively in the different activities and fora organized by the ITU. Honorable Ministers, I am happy to inform you that our fo focus in the util utilizing ICT, ICTs to meet the challenges we are facing in other sectors, namely severe and prolonged drought, energy and fuel consumption, urban and long distance transportation, public health and medical services, and improved financial services, among other things. We are fortunate that with eager partnership by our well-educated youth and creative private sector, Iran has leaped forward in improving efficiencies in, in many important areas, in creating new job opportunities and in increasing the national wealth. In doing so, we are relying on our indigenous capabilities, but welcome opportunities for international cooperation as well. I want to use this August gathering to invite all interested parties, both governmental and non-governmental -gover entities, to join us for the benefit of all. We have developed and utilized new advanced technologies in different fields, and firmly believe that by way of enhancing international cooperation, together we will be able to create a better world. Mr. Chairman, distinguished delegates, it is with much pleasure, pleasure that I'm informing you that in the past four years, we have invested five billion USD in our ICT infrastructure. As a result, the ICT market size has been grown from 6.3 billion USD to 13.3 billion USD. The number of mobile broadband users has increased from a mere 300 to 65 million. All cities are provided with 3G and 4G mobile services. 60% of 42,000 villages and rural area with more than 20 families are served with broadband mobile services and our international internet capacity now exceeds 2 terabit per second. Our focus in future is on digital economy, which we consider as the enabler for creating national wealth and improving the quality of life. One area the needs additional effort is regional cooperation and enhancing con connectivity between neighboring countries. In many cases, communication between adju adjacent countries are routed via indirect links in other countries. This is very inefficient and costly. 
and we hope that ITU can facilitate direct connectivity between neighboring countries. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Ministers, communication and information technology are an instrument of creating wealth. We have observed that in many instances in the past, wealth creating industries have been used as an instrument of warfare. We should remain vigilant to maintain ICTs as an instrument of peace and not as a tool of hegemony and uni unilateral impositions. Distinguished delegates, I'm so happy to inform you that the Islamic Republic of Iran has put, uh, put forward its candidatures for membership in the ITU Council for 2018-2022, and I'm asking for your positive votes that would provide us with the opportunity to participate actively and positively in the works of the Council and to contribute by working towards consensus and has been the case in the past. Mr. Chairman, I'm confident that with your able and wise chairmanship, the conference will become a successful one. I wish all participants a pleasure and productive participation in the conference. Furthermore, I wish to thank the Secretary General and the entire secret Secretariat that, uh, for their efforts. I, I also wish to use this occasion to warmly congratulate the newly elected ITU officials on their new elections and emphasize that, as in the past, we will cooperate with them. I thank you for your attention.